What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here to talk about Void High Lord. We're going to be doing a full class guide today. I'll be talking about the enhancements, the weapon range to use, and how to use the class. That's what I'm going to limit myself to for today. I'll be doing a full review of this class, talking about whether this class is worth it or not, and uh, what value this class holds in a class where... You know, I, I can get 103 classes in this game. I've got 103 classes, so we're talking about whether it's valuable or not. And for, for me, myself, and then for other people as well. Um, that'll be in the review, which will be in a couple of days' time. In between this video and the review, I'll be doing a class comparisons video, including this class as well. I've got some ideas as to what to do, so I'll be doing this versus Stone Crusher, or Legion Doom Knight, or uh, Cryomancer, or maybe Arch Paladin, or a Lightcaster maybe. Whatever you guys want. Leave suggestions in the comment section down below for what class comparison you'd like to see. Um, and I will do whichever one is the most popular. So if you see someone with that suggested something that you like, then make sure you vote that person up by using the thumbs up button next to their comment. So without any further ado, let's get into the enhancements for this, for this class. A lot of controversy surrounding the enhancements to use. Uh, I personally have found that luck increases your damage, fighter increases your HP. Whether that translates to survivability or not, I'll get into that in a sec. Um, so basically, with uh, 4 luck, I was able to get, when fighting a monster with 116k HP, so this, this monster was the, uh, the, I think it was called the Void Onyx Lava Dragon, or the Onyx Lava Dragon, I think, in Lair. Um, that monster has 116k HP and doesn't hit very hard, so I just used him as a test. Um, so yeah, when fighting him, I got 53 seconds with luck, I got 60 seconds with 3 luck, 1 fighter, I got 64 seconds with 2 luck, 2 fighter, I got 73 seconds with 3 fighter, 1 luck, and I got 83 seconds with 4 fighter. That was an average time that I got from fighting the monster 3 times for each one of those uh, enhancement combinations. So, the fastest was luck, and the least fast was the fighter. Now, when using fighter, you get more HP because fighter increases endurance, and endurance increases your HP. Now this class has a nice rank 10 passive, which increases your endurance again. So hence, I'm using full luck right now, and I've got 3k HP. So it's pretty insane that uh, I've got 3k HP with full luck. Um, if you're using PvP, I think PvP is supposed to, you're supposed to use fighter for this class. I don't PvP in this game, so I can't give you guys an opinion on that. Um, but from what I heard, fighter is good for PvP. Um, as, but as for soloing, which is what I'm assessing in this video, uh, I, I would suggest you go luck as much as you can. If you are struggling, then start to incorporate maybe one or two fighter enhancements. But basically, I'm going to be soloing Desolage later on. And Desolage uh, is uh, fine to solo with full luck. You just have to be careful about what you do. So, for weapon range, I tested three different weapon ranges. I tested the a stable weapon range, which is just a standard weapon that has like, you know, um, 150 to 170 weapon range, something just stable. That got me 53 seconds, and that's with full luck. Um, with a mid-stable weapon range, so it's something like this that's fairly unstable, that got me uh, 53 seconds as, as well. And then with a fully unstable weapon, so something like the Ungodly Reavers of Nogath, I actually got 47 seconds. So the more unstable, the faster you get, pretty much. Um, not that much faster though, and you do start to run into some issues when you don't get some nice crits. Because this ability here, what this ability does is it heals you for a portion of the damage you deal. So if you get an unlucky crit, then you might die. So I would recommend you go somewhere in between. So I actually like using mid-stable with this, with this class. You get some nice crits, it's really satisfying to use, and uh, you still survive fine. So it's not a big deal. Weapon range isn't really much of a problem for this class. If you've got a weapon that you like using, then by all means just use it. Um, but Generally, you go faster with more unstable weapons. Generally. Okay. There's a concept I'd like to introduce to you guys, which is called Shackle Unshackle. This ties into your auto attack. So there are two effects which can be applied by two identical abilities. Shackle and Unshackle. How they work is they both consume 20% of your maximum HP. Um, and that in turn means I'm consuming 600 HP off my own HP right now with 3000 HP, however it's 20%, so the more fighter you have, the more HP you're going to have, so the more it's going to consume. Um, they both have the exact same skill description, um, so they both deal moderate damage that always crits and can't miss, they both increase your damage resistance by 50% for 15 seconds, they both apply Soul Void, which increases your haste and healing taken by 30% for 12 seconds, um, however Shackle applies an effect called Shackle, and Unshackle replies an effect called Unshackle, and they replace each other. Both of these tie into your auto attack. So, 
On your auto attack, if Shackle is in play, it applies an effect which is a HRT, which stacks to five and lasts five seconds if not reapplied. If Unshackled is in play, this applies a DOT, which stacks to five and lasts five seconds if not reapplied. So we'll test that out for you guys right now. So if we bring uh, the uh, Frost King over here a little bit, so let's apply Shackle. So as you can see, I got a little bit of an HRT going on there. It's about sort of a hundred sort of thing. I'm going to use this ability to heal. Uh, I'll tell you about what that, that ability does in a second. But as you can see, I'm healing up a little bit, and that's because I got Shackle in play. In play. Now, if I go over to Unshackle in a second, my HRT will go away, and I'm going to start getting a DOT on him. So as you can see, I got 161 on that DOT. I'm going to use my heal. Um, and so yeah, you get some uh, pretty nice DOTs going, and you deal more damage with Shackle in play. Unshackled, rather. So you basically have to make a choice. I wouldn't recommend spamming these two abilities one after the other. You're never going to get the full stacks, and as a result, you're just never going to be as effective. If you're going for damage and you're confident that you can heal yourself properly, then uh, by all means go for Unshackle. However, you're probably going to have to start using the other abilities in the class as well to keep yourself alive. Otherwise, you're going to die while using Unshackle. Um, and then Shackled is good for situations where you're fighting something that's got a lot of HP or hit, hits really hard. So when I'm fighting Desolate later on in the video, I'm going to be using Shackle not using Unshackle. Now, High Lord's Gaze is the ability I was using just before, which I didn't, haven't explained yet. So what this does is it consumes 20 mana with a five second cooldown. What it does is it deals moderate damage, 30% chance to stun, um, and it applies an effect called Congealed, which lowers their hit chance, their haste, and their dodge by 10%, and that stacks to three. You also deal some damage and heal for some of the damage you dealt, which is how I was healing. Now, if you notice, both Shackle and Unshackle apply an effect which heal, increases your healing taken by 30%. So you're actually deal, healing more with this ability here if you have Shackle or Unshackle in play. But you should anyway. You should always have Shackle or un, Unshackle in play. Now, uh, it just heals about 800 normally with full luck um, based on the damage you deal. However, with full fighter, you actually heal much less with this ability. So I would recommend you go full luck uh, most of the time. Like I said before, full luck, more damage. Full fighter, less damage, more HP. More HP doesn't necessarily tr uh, translate to better survivability either though. Like I said, this ability heals more with luck enhancements. So yeah, it deals, like I said, moderate damage. Um, nothing too extravagant here. It's like 1.4k crit and you can, all, you can always increase that with other, other abilities in the class. Finally, the last ability here is called Armageddon. 15 second cooldown, consumes 50 mana. Spawn a portal straight to the void itself to call a mass of swords to your to do your bidding, dealing cataclysmic damage. Cataclysmic damage by itself that tra translates to about 2.5k crit, about 1.4k non crit. However, however, with the other abilities in play and with sacks and stuff, and you know, in, in effect, you're going to get between 2.5k non crit and about uh, sort of 6k crit with an unstable weapon. You can get upwards of 7 or 8k crit. Sometimes I've gotten even 10k, 11k crits with a fully unstable weapon. Really nice crits on this ability. It also applies Arbiter's Wrath, which increases your critical strike damage by 30% for 10 seconds, which affects Shackle and Unshackle because they both crit always and never miss. Um, and it also applies Kneel Before the Nation, which increases your damage and damage resistance by 50% for 12 seconds. So let's look at Shackle's damage. So Shackle, 730 damage. Meh, it's kind of, kind of a bit garbage. Let's apply this ability here and we got 1.4k damage. So he almost doubled it, well we did double it pretty much. Um, so yeah, you get some nice crits with uh, with Armageddon in play. So in turn, what I recommend you guys do is you start off with Armageddon and you make your decision whether you're going to use Shackle or Unshackle. I'll use Shackle for now. And uh, yeah, you really just, just want to start, just start stacking up that Shackle as much as you can. I'm trying to get him to move over to the corner so you guys can see the hits a bit better. Um, because I will be going over to Desolich and it's really hard to, to see the hits on Desolich. I guess you guys can see them there. It's kind of a bit annoying though. Um, so just pay attention to my hits, pay attention to what I'm hitting. Um, I'll be trying. I'll be trying to be getting a, a really nice crit with my um, Armageddon ability. But as you can see, no struggle at all for HP at all. My mana is not going down much at all. Every time I consume it, it's just staying fine. As you can see, with Armageddon descent, I got 1.9k non crit. Let's try and get a crit with Armageddon. I'm gonna switch over to Unshackled. I feel like I can probably keep myself alive with that heal. So let's see what I can crit. Got, just got a 7.5k crit with Armageddon. I no longer have my HRT in play, but I'm healing myself using High Lord's Gaze, and I'm healing about 800 each time I use it. Um, it does fluctuate though. As you can see, my uh, my HOT is still applied for some reason. I don't know why. That's a that's rather strange. I think yeah, it just it just ran out. Okay, that was because it was just wearing off. All right, but yeah, your HOT goes up pretty high. 
Um, I don't know whether this ability applies your, your heal in terms of an HOT on screen, but uh, that's weird. I don't know why that's happening. Um, but in, in theory, uh, this does a really massive damage. These abilities are all buffed by this ability, and you just keep getting more and more damage as time goes on, and yeah, you, you just you, just, you just solo really well, pretty much, um, with this class. Now, let's go to Desolich. This is a true test. Now, I did some asking around in my Discord server about whether Desolich is a good test or not, because I'm not really knowledgeable about bosses in the game. I know Binky is supposed to be hard, but he's hard for reasons that are, like, stupid more than anything. Um, but either way, we're going to be using Shackle this time, not using Unshackle at all. Um, Shackle, Unshackle will probably kill me. In fact, he'll probably kill me right now. Um, HP is quite low, as you can see. However, it's really not a, not a big deal. I'm consuming my own HP using uh, using Shackle. However, I'm healing it back up pretty pretty easily with the HOT that's in play. And uh, sooner or later, we're going to see the uh, HOT get to a point where it's really, really effective. So, it's 386 right now, and that's just constantly going over and over again. And I'm almost at a point where the HOT... HOT just, just ran out. I don't know why that happened. I think it's because my uh, I missed my auto attack or something like that. Either way, um, you're surviving fine with, with uh, this class. There's no troubles at all here. I'm not using Unshackle at all. That would make my uh, DOT, my HOT run out, by the way. Um, so, and that, because it would have replaced Shackle, so then I'd, I wouldn't get my HOT. But yeah, I'm just, just applying the effects. It's all going fine. Uh, no problem at all soloing this boss. And to put it in perspective with another class, you would you probably be dead by now. HOTs are currently at uh, 411. I think it can go even higher than that. It just went just went down down to 140. Uh, but either way, we're absolutely fine here. Just you, you have a constant monitor on your HOT situation. I think there are two separate HOTs and stuff that's going on at the moment. I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't know, really know what's happening to be honest. All I know is that uh, this class is fine. I'm doing absolutely fine soloing this guy. Not gonna have any issues. However, he does have 8 million health, so I'm not gonna be trying to solo him. Let's pull out another random class that uses luck as its build, because I'm already using luck enhancements, and we'll see what, how this class fares. So let's grab out our uh, ability here, if I can remember how to use this class. I think I can. Um, as you can see here, I am taking a lot of damage. <laughs> we need to be trying to get a destiny here. I did get destiny, that's always good. Move over here, please. And I died. 2.7k, 2.2k just hit on me. So. Really, it's quite effective because you're you're also decreasing the amount of damage that the boss does to you, as well as increasing your own damage constantly um, with Void High Lord. So Void High Lord is an excellent farm, uh, soloing class, and with some preliminary testing I did yesterday, it seems to be the best soloing class in the game. However, class comparisons will only give us that answer for sure, and I will be doing an updated top five soloing classes later in the year at some point. So uh, hopefully, you guys stay tuned for my videos coming in the next few days. I have will have heaps of stuff out. Um, my full guide on how to get this class will be a long time to make. It'll take me a long time. I'm going to do an extensive guide on how to get it. It's really quite difficult to obtain. Um, so, yeah, I'll be doing a full guide and all of that. But either way, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.